Hello and welcome back to King's Quest 7. We got the glasses for the kangaroo right now, so we're gonna go ahead and give those to him. And see what we can do from there. No. Grab an Oh, arm. what a beauty! Ear of corn. And if you notice now, this gourd has changed too. How strange. The gourd split in the sun. It looks like there's a loose seed in there. Alright, so we already looked at the ear of corn before. It's the same ear. Or it's the same, it looks the same. And then we've got a little seed. It's not really all that appealing. It looks kind of like a little rabbit turd or something. It's not all that exciting to look at, so. This is all I have to say. Go away! Go away! My, my, aren't we short-tempered? Here you are. Oh, joy! Oh, joy! Oh, happy me! I can see! I can see! Thanks to you, I'm not afraid. Now I'm free to deal and trade! Awesome. So now we can trade with him. The lovely lady shows me gold. How would you like some fine blue mold? No, thank you. I don't want to trade this. You see, it belongs to my daughter. Have you seen her? Hmm, Princess Fair with golden hair? Yes, have you seen my Rosella? Seen her, lady? Sadly, no. But I hear tales from winds that blow from far away, from the west. My sources are the very best. They tell me that the brave troll king has lost his heart and given a ring to a lovely princess he plans to wed. A foreign princess, it is said. A foreign princess? Well, that could be her. Do you know anything more? To find out more, you'll have to go beyond the woods and far below. Beyond the woods and far below. Alright, so we know that, uh, that Rosella was stolen away by the Troll King. Interesting development. Um, one thing I just thought about randomly, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of it now so I don't forget again, is I meant to show you the quit screen. Oh, you'll see, um, here, chapter progress. I'm about halfway through this chapter. Chapter 1. But anyway, the quit screen I wanted to show you guys. Um, King's Quest 7 uses bookmarks. And these are basically the five options you have. When you want to quit, you can either, or when you hit quit, you can either um, leave your game as it was when you last quit and saved it, um, or when you last bookmarked it and keep playing the game. You can save it and quit. You can keep the old game and quit, or you can save it and keep playing. Standard stuff, and just kind of simplify the save and restore feature of, of uh, Adventure Games down a bit. And then there's Exit, which returns you to the, um, returns you to, uh, the menu. Which is basically the same as keeping the old bookmark and quitting the game. Unless you just started and you hadn't bookmarked it yet. In that case, when you load the game, it'll just it'll return you to the very beginning. So, anyway, that's it. Um, we're just going to keep playing for now. I just... Oh. Oh, crap. I hit the wrong button. My bad. We'll cut this out. Sorry. Oh! What a beauty! How strange. The gourd split in the sun. It looks like there's a loose seed in there.
I have to say, go up. Here you are. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Oh, happy me. I can see. I can see. Thanks to you, I'm not afraid. Now I'm free to deal and trade. No. Mm. Yes, of fine. Alright, so now we're gonna keep seeing what we can trade with him. Pretty piece of silky cloth. Here, I'll go get my best dead moth. Don't bother, please. Yeah, if you haven't noticed already, yeah, the Roo Rat offers some very interesting things in trade for your possessions. It's uh, I, really a lot of fun going through here and seeing what, what it'll give you. Skillful work of clay. I'll trade you a bale of moldy hay. <laughs> no, thank you. But that's a simply smashing stick. How about a fat deer tick? Ugh. Uh, uh, I mean, no, thank you. What a lovely wrinkled seed. For that, I'll offer this blue bead. That sounds like a good deal. Oh, okay. So I actually got something useful. What a charming woven basket. Let me find my silk-lined casket. No, that's all right. Yeah, hopefully I won't be needing any of those. Yuck! Birth from that horrid beast. I don't want it in the least. The <laughs> uh, funny thing is, if you try to trade the bead back... I think I'll keep the bead. Ah, sorry. Double click. It's my lovely turquoise bead. Let me get a thorny weed. I think I'll keep the bead. <laughs> oh, what a lovely golden ear. Would you like a broken clockwork gear? No, that's all right. Hey, a broken gear could be useful. Maybe. A juicy, sticky, spiky fruit. Uh, would you like a chewed on boot? Oh, no. No, 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 thank you. Hey! I was not done. Would you like to trade with me? You won't believe what you will see. Mmm, a tasty grain of salt. Hey, will you take a chocolate malt? Tempting, but no thank you. I'm trying to watch my figure. <laughs> Alright, well that's all we can do with him for now. Um, we obtained a turquoise bead. Oh, there were some turquoise things we found going away. <sighs> there were some twi- eh, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't talk. There were some turquoise objects that we found earlier in the game. So we're going to return to those. saw this offering bowl before we took something out of it and got killed in the process. But let's see if we can trade with this guy instead of just taking stuff. Uh-huh. Now we have a little turquoise piece. You know, if you're wondering why I chose that one, no, I can't put it back. Um, 
the reason was because of the door we saw earlier, the door into the mountain. It has a little arrow shape pointing down. It looks like something's supposed to go in there. And this piece would fit perfectly in there, and this one, not exactly. If you look at this shape, it doesn't quite, uh, doesn't quite fit the mold. So... Let's see if I guess correctly. Well, I don't really guess. I've played this game before, but see? It fits perfectly. So. Interestingly enough, looking at it, it looks like that other piece could almost fit in there. Or it could be another piece. We'll find out. Right now, there's only one more place that we need to go to get out of here, and that's this temple. Um, and for kicks, we'll go see what the rear rat would trade for this turquoise thing, but I don't think it's anything too interesting. Would you like to trade with me? You won't believe what you will see. Oh my, a stunning turquoise shape. Will you accept a shriveled grape? Oh, I don't think so. Aw, why not? I love raisins. Oh well. Alright, so in here, we know we saw earlier. Did I show you? Let's we'll see. I think I may have. Yikes. Running away quickly. Lovely little scorpion thing which would very much like to kill us. Um, one of the things that I like about King's Quest 7 is that despite all of the changes they made, they kept in one uh, one uh, single thing, and that was the ability to combine inventory items. Um, some of the newer adventure games, like Telltale's adventure games, have removed this uh, this aspect of gameplay, which I didn't really care for. Uh, even though I, their games aren't bad, they just kind of removed that, and I wasn't too fond of it, of that being gone, but um, you can combine inventory items, and in this case, we're combining the stick with Valenice's torn dress, hoping that the scorpion, paying attention to our brightly colored dress, we, uh, can be distracted by another piece of bright cloth. Kind of like a bullfight. like it's attached to the altar.
before we go back over, let's see what the rewrite has to say about this piece. It may be the same thing, but somehow, I doubt it. Would you not? Yeah, yeah. Oh my, a stunning turquoise shape. Will you accept a shriveled grape? No, oh, it did Oh, I don't think so. Oh well. Oops. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um. I meant to put that back in my inventory, and I accidentally clicked on the object that you combine it with. You combine it with the other piece, and you have a puzzle. So, let's head back on over to the stone mouth. <coughs> Go away. <sighs> I, hate, I hate walking by here, because he always has to pop up and stick his tongue out. fits perfectly in here. <laughs> and voila, the door is open. Look at that. Oh my. That's not good. And therefore, and therefore we enter into chapter two. Welcome, most beautiful of princesses. <gasps> hmm? Who are you, sir? I, uh, I am King Otar Fenris III, ruler of the Volcanics Underground. And you are the Princess Rosella, yes? I am, Your Majesty. How do you know me? Where am I? I saw a beautiful castle before. Where could I find it, please? Castle? Oh, that. It's a dull place. You wouldn't like it. Oh my, I wasn't expecting this. Your Majesty, what weren't you expecting? What's going on? I wasn't expecting you to be so lovely, my lady. You will be the most radiant bride in all the world. Bride? See here, King Otar, I'm, I'm, I'm very honored and all, but I can't marry you. I, I don't even know you. Now, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, Ah! I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... A troll, dear lady. A troll? Oh! Please don't be sad, princess. You make a lovely troll. A simply stunning troll. I'm a troll? How can I be a troll? I'm not a troll, am I? Come along, princess. Let me escort you to your chamber. Perhaps you'll feel better if you... rest. A troll? Troll, huh? A troll? I can't believe I'm a troll! And not just any troll. Oh no, I'm engaged to the Troll King! How lucky can a girl get? Oh, poor Rosella. She just jumped in to find a beautiful castle and now she's been turned into a troll. And quite a way, far ways from a beautiful castle, too. 
Well, as you can see, we are now in control of Rosella. Um, we switched from Queen Belenice, left her behind in her moment of peril. And so now in Chapter 2, we control Rosella, and we will for the rest of the chapter. So, we're not going to sit anywhere sitting around on the bed, so let's see what we can... information we can dig up around here. Stunning purple eyes there. Blah! <laughs> Ew! That's enough to give our castle decorator a case of the vapors. <laughs> Okay, so it's not the most glamorous bed in all the world, but they're trolls. Kind of a little slack, would you? Are you missy you're no real troll i can see right through you what do you want with king otar you human minx i i don't want anything i was just looking into this pool and, and then i saw this baloney little girl you're trying to steal the throne of the underground usurper usurper <laughs> 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 Why, you're no usurper, you poor little thing. Don't cry. I didn't mean to be cross. It's just that King Otar has been so strange lately, and that a horrible woman has been snooping around. I'm not crying. Of course you're not, dear. Now you listen to me. I can help you turn back into a human. You can? Are you an enchantress? Well, not exactly. I'm Matilda, and I used to be King Otar's nursemaid when he was just a wee troll. Anyway, I can give you a list of ingredients for a magic potion that will turn you back into a human just like that. But you have to do something for me. Anything! Up above this kingdom is a dark land called Ooga Booga. Our kingdoms were never crazy about each other, but we had a civil relationship. Now, because of her, the Ooga Boogaites attack any troll that shows a face above ground. Missy, once you're human, you will go above and investigate. I have a gut feeling that our kingdom is in terrible trouble. Of course I will, Matilda. Wonderful! Now listen, girl, bring me some baked beetles, a crystal dragon scale, water of emeralds, a silver spoon, and a gold bowl. Got it? Got it. Stupid old toy rat! This is not what I wanted! I wanted a battle axe! <laughs> Bike! Time for lunch! Don't forget your new toy! <laughs> Dumb, stupid rat! Be honest, I don't blame parents for not giving that kid a battle axe. I'm afraid what he'd do with it. Well, if he doesn't want the rat, I'll take it. You never know when you might need a toy rat. Alright, so we have our objectives for this chapter. We have to find our ingredients to turn ourselves back into a human. And figure out what this strange woman is that Matilda was talking about. Matilda? 
What was that list of ingredients again? Baked beetles, a crystal dragon scale, a gold bowl, water of emerald, and a silver spoon. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Alright. Well, there are a few more things we can investigate in here before we move on. One is the throne. You know, if you ask me, some of the things in King's Quest 7 don't seem to line up with the character of Rosella we saw in King's Quest 4. She seems uh, more playful and uh, more naive than King's Quest 4 made her out to be, and more of a crybaby as well. But, you know, I suppose you could attribute some of that to her just being turned into a troll and ripped away from what she was expecting to be a, a wonderful time in a magical kingdom or whatever, but, uh, I don't know, somehow she just doesn't seem to like to... Hmm, let me try that again. Somehow she just doesn't seem quite like herself. Um, here's an interesting little object hanging on the wall. Shield. Could come in handy, in case we have to fight any nasty looking things. And there's also this interesting hole in the ceiling. Hmm, there's a hole up there. I wonder where it leads. Mm. But, unfortunately, she can't quite get to it. We'll just have to remember it for later. Alright, let's head into this cavern and see what we can dig up. Yuck! Troll soup! Mr. Troll, may I talk to you? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? <laughs> yeah, there, not much help, are they? Revolting beast! <laughs> Jeez, Hogart, you nearly got yourself fried! Oh, I'm not scared of that nasty wench. I could break her in half like a carrot. Well, that's good, cause she's right behind you! <laughs> that was not the funny blog tar. I don't know. He found it rather amusing. Pardon me, sirs, but who was that tall, imposing woman? <laughs> Uh, her name is Malicia, and uh, to tell you the truth, lady, uh, no one really knows who she is. I know who she is. She's a fiend, that's who. Shut your mouth, Hogarth. You don't know nothing. Some trolls say Malicia is an evil fairy cast out of Etheria up there in the clouds. All I know is, she never used to hang around here, and now she does all the time. 
We'd like to tell you more, pretty lady, but we better not. Is there anything more you could tell me about Malisha? Uh, no, lady. Uh, sorry. No, no way. Malisha, eh? She is the strange woman that Matilda was talking about, too. She's a tall, imposing woman. Yeah. So we'll have to see if we can avoid her in the future. She doesn't seem to be that much that uh, nice of a person to tangle with. Especially if she's a fairy. An evil fairy by the looks of it. Well, we're going to go ahead and end this Let's Play here. And when we come back, we'll take a look around the Volcanics Underground and see if we can find the spell ingredients to turn ourselves back into a human. So, thanks for sticking with me. Hope to see you next time. Bye.